Okay, we're going to look at 3.5 part C, a rational function. The first thing we're asked to do, step one, is to find any vertical asymptotes. And the way we do that again is you set the denominator equal to zero, which we've done over here. If you try to solve this, you will not get any real numbers, which basically means there's no vertical asymptote. Okay, let's go to the next step. The second step is a horizontal or oblique asymptotes. To look at the horizontal asymptotes um, in oblique, we look at the degree of the numerator, the degree of the denominator. The degree of the numerator, there's no x, the degree is 0. And the degree in, of the denominator is 2. Since the degree of the denominator is higher than the degree of the numerator, then we have the horizontal asymptote y equals 0. The book would actually say it a little bit differently. They would say if the degree of the numerator is smaller than the degree of the denominator, then you have the horizontal asymptote y equals 0, which is right here. Okay, next thing you want to do is finding the zeros, which is the third part. The way we solve the third part is we set the numerator equal to 0. If you set the numerator equal to 0, you're going to get 1 is equal to 0, and that will not give us any answers. So step 3 pretty much tells us that there's no x-intercepts, no zeros. It's never going to cross the x-axis. Now we're going to find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, we plug in 0 for x. So if we look at this function, if we plug in 0 for x right here, we get 1. So the y-intercept is 0, 1. Okay, step 5. Step 5, if, if you find some other points and draw them on the graph, you can do this easy, either using your graphing calculator or by hand. For example, if we did this first one by hand right here, I would plug in negative 4 for x. I'd put 1 over negative 4 squared plus 1 and then simplify that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to plot these points and finish up this example here. Okay. So if you take a look here at this particular graph here before I begin plotting the points, let me just erase this first. We can see negative 4 has the same y value as positive 4, which means there's some symmetry involved. So here's negative 4 and positive 4. Negative 3 and positive 3 have the same value as well. Oops, I'm sorry, that's right there. Negative 2 and positive 2 have the same y value. Same thing with negative 1 and 1. Okay, so there is a sketch of our graph. So it is symmetric, and it never actually touches the x-axis, as we know, since there's no zeros. Okay, so that concludes this worksheet. Part C. We'll do Part D in the next one.